My name's Claudio Torres. My favorite food uh, has got to be ravioli. I love Italian food. Any kind of Italian food's great. And Chinese. I've been to Italy. Uh, went there, uh, what was it, like two years ago? But went to Rome. I went to uh, Milan. Um, practically scoured like the nor northern part, which was kind of awesome. Uh, my favorite part, um, uh, a lot. Um, in Rome, there's like a bunch of the gardens, like, you know, uh, the uh, Roman. The name Claudio comes from like um, the name Claudius, and he's one of the most like well-known Roman emperors. So it was kind of cool to like kind of uh, see the tradition of what that name actually meant and means in Italy. The Colosseum, which it's kind of badass, like when you walk around there and like just get like a really good image. Not only that, but I got to get like the insider access like through the, some, some of the tunnels, a lot of them are like really cl are closed off, but yeah, it was pretty cool. Any hobbies? Um, I like uh, hiking, um, any kind of workout, any kind of like physical exercise. I love doing um, camping, I love, love camping. I also do a bunch of uh, theater, like performance art, which is, uh, I love doing, I've been doing it since I was 12. Yes, I have um, way too many to remember, but a lot of fun. I'm from Chile. I uh, was born there, came here when I was five. Um, moved to, directly to Philly, you know. Parents just happened to find, find work here and before we left. And yeah, I was just been in Philly ever since. I, I lived with, like in a place near Drexel Park with my sister. And then all of a sudden I got to know the environment a little better. and. Decided to, you know, move out on my own. Right now I'm living in crossings and living in different places throughout the city. Most terrifying experience would have, would have to been when I was like 12 years old. Um, it was New Year's Eve. I was in Penn's Landing um, and we were, cel you know, the fireworks and everything. Um, and we, we were celebrating Pretty, we were celebrating pretty, pretty late. Not only that, but it was very, very cold. Um, so much so that there was like ice on like the gate, the gated part of Penn's Landing, like you know where the bridge is. There was like ice, uh, ice forming there, snow. Um, and my sisters, who were a little bit more like a, they're a double part of the family, um, decided to get across over the gate and just like, because there was like, a, there was a nice view of the city like if you cross over the gate, but because of, because of the ice, um, I didn't really think twice about the danger that, that it was. And as I was midway through like getting my, like, like through the gate, mind you, the, these are like pointed gates, my foot slipped and the gate kind of penetrated up my leg. Um, it wasn't painful. I didn't feel anything, but because it was it was that cold. But all I noticed was like when I came back, um, the like my jeans were ripped, and I was just like, oh, so, like something must have scratched me by. And then I look at it, and I'm just like, holy shit, my fucking leg! <laughs> you know, like it's it was really really like bad. Like, and apparently there's a part of me that there's a part of like that the tip of the gate that's still inside my leg that they just couldn't get out. So, well, screenwriting is my, the major that I have, but what, what's always been interesting to me about film is the fact, it, it, it's, a nature, it's the nature of storytelling more than anything, and I think that transcends within every aspect of, of film, whether you're, you know, uh, sound, like, you know, sound designer or editor or, um, screenwriter or you know or film um, it all has to make either it all it's all structured to to tell your to tell your kind of story you know my favorite films um, uh, big one for me is uh, 2001 a space odyssey um, second one would have to be like citizen Kane um, uh, Slumdog Millionaire, love that movie. Um, those would have to be my, those have to be my top three, actually.